Today is Palm Sunday, and on every Sunday of the year, you know, we tell stories from the Gospel. But on Palm Sunday, we tell two stories from the Gospel. We begin by telling the story of the day that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey. And people waved palm branches in the air and they spread their garments on the road in front of him to say that they believed that he was special, that he was blessed by God, that he was a rabbi who bore God's special gift with him. And they wanted to know, they wanted him to know that they thought that he was special and should be treated specially. But after we tell that story, then we put our palms away and we tell the story of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. We tell the story of how Jesus was taken prisoner, how he was beaten, stripped of his clothes, accused of things, and brought away to Calvary where he was nailed to a cross and hung on that cross to die. We call Jesus' crucifixion a sacrifice, not because Jesus gave up something that he really didn't want to give up, which is the way we often think of sacrifice, but because Jesus gave up something because of his love for us and for his love for his Father. A real sacrifice is something that's given up for love. You give up something for love, and that's a sacrifice. Jesus gave up his life because he loves us. And by some mystery of God's love that we don't completely understand, to be perfectly honest with you, Jesus' sacrifice of his life means that we are given the promise of new life that somehow we never had before. A promise of new life that we're assured of when Jesus is resurrected from the dead. But first, we have to tell these other stories. We have to tell the story of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, and we have to tell the story of how it was that Jesus was taken and crucified, his life given up for love. That's the sacrifice of Jesus, his love for you and me, so much that he was willing to give everything, to give his life for us, so that the promise of new life that could be given only through God could be shared with us as well. Next Sunday, we'll be thinking about that new life. But this Sunday, we're remembering these two stories. We're remembering Jesus' entry into Jerusalem and how the crowds cheered for him. And then we're remembering how quickly things changed and how important it was that Jesus sacrificed himself, gave up his life for those he loves. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.